I woke up at 3 p.m. Feeling good, okay. I went down to eat. I didn't know what to do since no one else was here. I don't have any friends and my shift's didn't start till 12. You know what? I'll just go early and see what they're doing today. When I walk in, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica were singing a song as usual. Foxy's curtain was closed, so I guess it was supposed to be closed. I guess they have put him off limits. Couldn't blame them. He did scare off the crap out of everyone. I sit in the back of the room watching the show, but curiosity was pulling over me to what was behind the curtain. Finally, curiosity won, and I went over to the cove, and when no one was looking, slunk into the cove. It was dark and my eyes were having a hard time adjusting. Then, when my eyes started to adjust, a figure tackles me and gives out a growl. What are you doing in me, cove? I couldn't speak out. Dang it. I just turned myself into the devil. Oh, so you just won't speak to me? I'll make this as slowly and painfully as possible. Please don't, I whisper. What was that? You need to speak up. Then something in me snapped, and it all came out. You know what? Kill me. See if I care. You're probably going to kill me tonight anyways. Suddenly, Foxy was off me, and there was a loud bang. Foxy's point of view. Today was going fine until I heard a person coming into me cove. It was the last, but in the dark it was hard to tell who, who it was. But girl or not, she was in me cove, and she was going to die because of it. I tackled the last. She seemed shocked, so I guess she were going, we were at a good start already. What are you doing in me cove? I asked, a, I asked with churu curiosity. And why would you be in here at your own free will? There was silence. Oh, so we're playing hard to get, are ye? Oh, so ye wish not to speak to me now? Well, I guess your death will be slow and painfully as possible. She said something, but I couldn't hear exactly what it was. What was that? You need to speak up. You know what? Kill me. See if I care. You're probably going to kill me anyways, she blurted out. I jumped off the last, immediately hit my stool when I came down. Dang it, there goes a few more gears. Why is it I'm always hurting the good people? When the last left, I didn't know if to stop her, or to catch her, or to try to kill her. She was probably scared to death of me already. From your point of view. I got out and, there was, I got out and went straight to the office. It was only six. But I needed to calm my nerves from my encounter with Foxy. In the middle of calming down, I fell into a deep sleep. It was 12, and I decided to go and see how the last was doing. But when I got there, the last was asleep. No, 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 you can't be asleep, you have a job to do. Last, you need to wake up. I tried shoving, but she wasn't apparently in a deep sleep. Oh, great. Now what? I just can't let the last die. She wasn't the murderer. Unless she started killing when she was seven. Oh, please, Lassie, don't do this to me. She didn't move. Oh, great. Now what? Am I going to have to do her job for her? Oh, goody. The morning was going to be fun if Freddy found out. I looked at the screen thing on the table and looked at my hook. Ah, I'll stick to the doors. At 1 a.m., Bonnie was at the door, and I decided to try something. Foxy? Oh, dang it. You killed, me the, you killed the night guard already? No, Bonnie. I haven't killed her. She was asleep. And it's not a fair fight. You know what I mean? Ah, I see. You want a fair fight. Truly, I agree with you. But Freddy and he might not think that. Maybe Chica will, but not him. Well, I'll worry about that when the time comes. Thank you, Bonnie. Welcome, Foxy. But tomorrow will be different. I know. You know what? I'm with you guys. What's the point in killing her if she won't fight back? I turned around and almost gouged my hook in her if it weren't for me reflex. Dang it, Chica, don't do that. Sorry now, Bonnie. How are you going to keep this away from Freddy? Why don't you just act like you're trying to kill the lass? And I'll just close the doors on you so that he'll think you're trying. That'll work, Bonnie said. Now go before Freddy gets suspicious. All went well for the next three hours. But at 4.45, Freddy decided to show up. Of course I shut the door when I hear his laugh. Foxy, what the heck are you doing? I guess I'll try with him too. The last was sleeping, and it's not a fair fight. She can't fight back. I see your point, but the night guard might be the murder, and we have a job to do. Well, sorry, Freddy. I'm not going to kill this night guard. Then I'm sorry, for, sorry, my friend, but a traitor is a traitor.
Sorry for what exactly? I looked to the front of the room and saw him. Shit! I grabbed the lass and ran out of the room. And it ran out of the pizzeria to the lass's car. When I put her in the car, she woke up and sh she would have screamed if I hadn't put my hand over her mouth. Shh! I could have killed you a long time ago, but I have a debt to make up. She nodded and I let go of her mouth. Why did you... Why'd you come back? Because... I remember you, and I owed you, I said, cutting off her, cutting her off. I looked at the clock, and it was 5.55. Just, just go home now. Your shift is almost up anyways. I would suggest that you don't come tomorrow without a friend. Thank you, Foxy. You're welcome, lass. You know my name is not lass. It's, how lovely. She drove leaving me what might be the end.